Hi, I'm Paul Griffin from UVA's Department of Radiation Oncology. Today, I will be presenting on our work studying focused ultrasound in pre breast cancer. For some background, our lab has previously characterized pulsed and continuous FUS protocols in metastatic melanoma models. We've shown evidence that FUS can evoke anti-tumor immune responses and increase the efficacy of immunotherapies. There is a need for similar investigation in breast cancer, the most common invasive cancer in females worldwide. Current clinical evidence suggests that strategies aimed to elicit an anti-tumor immune response may be effective in advanced breast cancer, where tumor infiltration with T lymphocytes is associated with improved clinical outcomes. However, until recently, such strategies have not demonstrated success, despite tremendous efforts to harness the anti-tumor properties of the immune system. Despite their success, not all patients treated with immunotherapies demonstrate durable responses. So it's essential to develop novel low toxicity combination therapy regimes. We are investigating whether pulsed FUS protocols can evoke an anti-tumor immune response and increase the efficacy of PD-1 immunotherapy in breast cancer. We suggest that it's possible to immunize patients against their own tumor by using focused ultrasound therapy to augment tumor antigen release. We hypothesize that low energy deposition into tumors by FUS will lead to mechanical damage to initiate an immune response through release of tumor antigens and enhancing immunogenic cell death. Further, we hypothesize that FUS combined with immune checkpoint inhibitors will enhance systemic therapeutic response to mediate rejection of both FUS treated and untreated tumors. We injected 4T1 breast cancer cells bilaterally into mammary glands to grow orthotopic tumors in BALB-C mice. One mammary tumor was sonicated when primary tumors were between five and eight millimeters. In our experiments with PD-1, PD-1 monoclonal antibodies were administered one, three, and five days after sonication. We use an MRI-guided small animal FUS platform from FUS Instruments. Our pulsed FUS treatment protocol uses 44 watt pulses at a 4% duty cycle for 120 seconds at a spot for between one and four spots, depending on tumor size. Here are our parameters. Our protocol equates to a pressure of 6.5 megapascals and 211 total joules deposited per sonicated spot, or 844 joules for our four spot protocol. In gel phantoms, our pulsed FUS protocol saw a temperature rise of around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. In vivo, temperature rise was lower. Temperature maps were difficult to acquire given movement due to pulsed sonication, but this 12 degree rise appears representative. Thus, we believe our protocol causes sub-ablative temperature rise. We stained sonicated tumor slides with H&E and caspase-3 we see noteworthy internal damage correlating to number of sonication spots, and caspase 3 staining shows that sonication gave rise to apoptotic cell death. We measured tumor size and compared growth after sonication to controls. Tumor growth decreased in both primary sonicated tumors and in secondary non-sonicated tumors. This indicates that the, pres the presence of an abscopal effect of FUS in combating other tumors. We ran cytokines and chemokines from 24 hours post-sonication for sonicated and control mice and found there to be differences between the two. Differences were significant for GCSF and IL-1A. Observed changes suggest a shift toward a tumor suppressive environment. We did immunohistochemistry staining to quantify proliferating immune cell subtypes. We're still working on this data, but preliminary data suggests an increase in proliferating CD8 positive T cells and CD11 positive dendrites. We also ran RNA-seq for these mice. We have more work to do for this data, but based on heat maps in the volcano plot, there are differences between the treated and untreated groups. Recently, we've begun experiments comparing controls, pulsed FUS alone, PD-1 alone, PD-1 combined with pulsed FUS. 
I would like to point out one promising result. We took lungs from these mice for histology and examined them for metastases. We found fewer metastases in the combination therapy group compared to all other groups, providing evidence that FUS and PD-1 combined may have systemic anti-tumor effects. In conclusion, our experiments thus far support the hypothesis that FUS evokes an anti-tumor immune response. FUS may also increase the efficacy of PD-1 therapy and reduce the occurrence of metastasis. We're excited about the future of this work. Thank you for your time.